Hello and welcome to another tutorial and another free plugin for you to download and this time we're going to make something called XFX Outside Glow and as you can see from the results hopefully that you're looking at now that I can't see because we haven't built it yet it should put a lovely glow round um, an object um, but not uh, an object not with straight lines um, any object that's got an alpha um, so it can be an irregular shaped object, go around corners, holes, etc. I'm pretty sure you get the idea by looking at what we're doing. And hopefully it's going to work on text too, which would be great to make things stand out. Um, maybe it's just like a drop shadow or a super duper colour extravaganza. Who knows? Okay, let's get on with it. But first, um, if you're just here to download the plugin, that's fine. But maybe if you'd like to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications or just leave a like or a comment that would be great as well and that graphic you can see on screen is also free from the industrial revolution website okay let's get on with it as per usual but as you can see from our website we've got a lot of free plugins and a lot of them have got glows in them uh, so we've got flare lights here that does kind of like a diffuse glow um, like streaks if you want to be like star trek and we've got somewhere a glow darks, which is quite handy for pumping up contrast and bits and pieces like that. There they are, glow, glow darks. But I wanted to do an outline. Well, an outliner, but with a glow. So I thought, OK, well, that's going to be easy. What you do is you just take the alpha channel out and then blur it, um, etc. Until I found something within motion that uh, made me go, oh, hang on. So let's start straight off with motion. And we are going to make a new plugin, but it's going to be an effect. And it doesn't really matter what size it is because we're going to put nothing in there that needs scaling. Um, exactly. Also, frame rate doesn't really matter because um, there are no temporal effects in this. Um, that's a posh way of saying time things. OK, so we go open. Now, here we have what we'd normally expect, timeline and this effect source so when this appears in final cut pro 10 um, final cut pro 10 will send whatever you're parked on into this um, effect source now what i normally do is i normally duplicate this and turn it off um, so i've got a clone layer and i tend to work on the clone layer now this is the second time i built this plugin because i had a problem with the first one um, because using a clone layer with a large glow sometimes ends up you end up with a load of artifacts all over the screen maybe I could dig that one out and overlay the screen with the effect that it gives you um, because it's very unforgiving if you've got kind of like one pixel that's not completely transparent um, it will obviously put a glow around it um, and anything that goes right up to the edges it doesn't particularly like either when you use a clone layer for some reason you live and learn you know that's one of the things about plugin developing you just got to try stuff out and it doesn't work you've got to find a way around it so my normal turn this off make a clone layer i'm not going to do i'm just going to leave it as is okay right now what how am i going to do the glow well i thought about if you you know doing the defocus and everything until i looked in the filters and in glow you have something called outer glow if i drop that on the group nothing happens but you can see it's got an edge round there you can just about see it because it's going off the alpha and obviously the alpha extends to the end of the um, end of the frame okay so what does outer glow do let's take a look and if we look at the inspector outer glow radius brightness okay this all looks rather fun so I tell you what I'm just going to publish the whole lot you know um, maybe this is the second quickest plugin building after making an adjustment layer um, possibly and I really don't know why let me publish these while I'm speaking why Apple didn't make this an effect oh, peach ball publish 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 I might do a bit of bells and whistles on this when this um, plugin actually appears on the store I was thinking of linking the two colors together crop and I don't know what that crop does Mix, yeah, let's do the mix. So let's just see, we've got all of that unpublished, yeah, unpublished. And then we're going to go File, Save, and X, FX, um, Outside, Glow. Now, I don't want to call it um, Outer Glow, I think um, the Apple helicopters would circle overhead and tell me not to do it because it's a bit cheeky calling the effect something that's already in motion. Okay, and we're going to go XFX 
free name. I'm going to say expects free publish. OK. And that is it. Just hit save again. Now, I can't believe that Apple didn't include this or didn't publish this in Final Cut Pro 10 as it's available in Motion. Maybe they want to, you to buy Motion. I don't know. But let's hide this. And we'll fire up Final Cut Pro 10. And when it comes out, I'm 10.4.8 at the moment. And as you can see, I've got a few things on the timeline. Um, and the first one is this space shuttle. Now, a little tip here is this is on black at the moment, but it's not on black. It's on transparent. Now, how do I know that? Well, underneath, I can turn this clip on and off. This is a standard background that you might have seen. You see it on a lot of YouTube videos these days. I can turn that on and off. Or I can go up into the preferences. I can make this background checkerboard which really helps, which is transparent. So it's a bit like Photoshop. Anything that you see this checkerboard means there's nothing there. OK, that's good. What I will do, I'll put that just back to black. Now, where did I do that? It was in XFX Free. And bear in mind, this is an effect, so you'll find it in the Effects Browser. Um, and XFX Free, there we go. And you can see that it's in XFX Free there next to the XFX Video Conference plugins, which have been very popular. And there's a bit more coming on those very soon. Please stay tuned. Right. Space Shuttle. Let's drop this on. And what happens? I get a bit of an outline. Oh, so okay, you could use this as an outliner, um, you know, just to go around something. But you can, you can see here it's just not a defocus because if you had a defocus, this wouldn't work with the hole. You can see this hole here. It actually goes around the whole of the hole. OK, now let's play around with some of the controls. Radius, I could push this thing up and look at this. It's starting to look great already. Brightness, I can push that brightness up. I can change those colors. The range is where it's doing the split between these two colors. Um, so let's kind of like see if we can just change, you know. OK, maybe the space shuttle is not going to look like that on re-entry, but you get the idea. Um, and you can change this. Yeah. And it's super smooth. Yeah. There's no way that I could build a plugin like that in motion using um, Gaussian blurs and everything to do, to do that. It just wouldn't work. So this is a built in plugin within motion, which means you can't open it in motion. It's not made out of motion layers. And that's why, um, you know, the image processing on it gives you this lovely glow on there. OK, does it work on text? Yes, it does. Um, so here we've got some text. Some just some 3D text. We've got a bit of a um, rotation on there. So let's drop it on there as well. We get the little thin outside edge back to the plugin. I'll bump this up and it goes, you know, and it goes 1970s, all, you know, straight away. Look at this. This is going to get text to stand out really well. And if you go back to the text control, as you do rotation, it sticks to the thing. You know, it really does stick to the thing. Beautiful, beautiful glow on there. And that's been driven by the alpha. Anything that's got an alpha, it will follow the edges absolutely perfectly. Um, and what gets really nice on here is I found this out by accident. And um, if I go back to the plugin, so if I turn down the, um, it's got horizontal and vertical blur. So if I turn down the horizontal blur, you get this great lines on here. Now this is obviously over the top, yes, but you can tone, tone the effect down on there. But just what a great kind of like effect on there to be able to do different size blurs on there. And it obviously you can change the colors. Uh, oh, it doesn't look, I mean, it needs to be something bright, doesn't it? But you could do, you could do it all white if you want to. Uh, let's just go like this and turn the brightness down, maybe. So many possibilities that you can do with this plugin. But I mean, I had to actually phone one of my friends up, um, Chris Roberts, and ask him. I said, "This sounds really odd, but are you sure that that?" plugin in motion isn't included in the kind of you know vanilla 
Final Cut Pro 10 install and you know we're on the phone and he went through his Final Cut and he said no he said it's not in there so um and I don't know why because it's just a great great addition to um Final Cut Pro 10 but there you go I've made it available for you I mean I feel a bit of a cheat to be honest with you because it, it is really two or three clicks maybe to publish this into um, Final Cut Pro 10 but I've saved you the bother you can download it it's free on the Industrial Revolution website um, I will put the URL up and there's obviously clickable links um, in the YouTube description um, but you know maybe I'll go through the rest of them and dig out the ones that um, haven't been published and maybe make a bit of a video of it that'll be interesting I know some of them work some of them don't work um, and some of them give you some strange effects because I've used them in other plugins but it'll be interesting to kind of have a venture through them and see what we can make out of them so thank you for watching enjoy the plugin and we'll see you on the next one bye bye